We're going to be talking to James Whale, uh, a man who has all of those uh, absolutely fine qualities and is absolutely one of the most decent people I know. We're going to be talking to him about this horrendous story that we mentioned at the top of the show. And it is this. And we're going to show you a video now. So I warn you uh, that if you are uh, of um, a certain nervous disposition, you may wish to take a bit of care because this is a postman knocking on the door of somebody in Greater Manchester and you'll see what happens when you watch. He's standing there with his parcel in his hand. There's a driveway behind him. For those of you, the door is open. He has just kicked a little dog across the driveway with some force so that it has slid all the way across the tarmac and ended up on the grass. It is quite the most hideous thing I think I've ever seen anybody doing to a little dog. Believe it or not, and James I think will be amazed when I tell him this, there are some people saying, well he's a postman, they have to look after themselves, they have to look out for dogs everywhere. This dog is so small as to not be in any way um, a danger to him. James, um, this is one of the most disgusting things I've ever seen. Good morning to you. Uh, very good morning. And uh, first of all, um, I'm, I'm not wealthy. Uh, I'm not. Um, uh, I'm not whatever the other words were. I'm not this. I'm not that. I'm not the other. Uh, this is Daisy May. Are you saying you're you're an ungenerous uh, man with no integrity and hardly any money? Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Yeah, that's exactly the way. <laughs> OK, now, uh, that, I've not seen that before. I've seen, sit, sit there. If a postman knocked at my door, or somebody did, which I wouldn't be able to anyway, uh, because of the machine gun emplacements outside, um, if somebody actually knocked at the door, uh, this would probably... Uh, can you see this? I'm not sure if you can see this. Yes. Um, uh, this would probably growl and bark at you. Uh, but, of course, as I've got them under control, they stay behind me. Uh, and if somebody did that to one of my dogs, just a warning now, because I'm slightly addicted to Amazon. Uh, and all the Amazon delivery men are absolutely perfect and fantastic. Uh, postmen, pff, some are all right. Uh, but I've got postmen that do come and do sort of uh, ring the intercom and say, uh, can, can I can? Most of them say, you in? And I usually say no, which confuses them. Uh, <laughs> I would have that guy's legs amputated. I mean, it's a disgusting thing that he's done. You know, I have some sympathy with postmen who say, you know, it's not very nice when you get attacked by rabid dogs every time you open a garden gate. But this dog yeah. is smaller than yours, right? Now, it yeah. might have been a little bit on the yappy side, but, you know, there was absolutely no need for him to do what he did. It, it was, no. and, and also, you can tell by the way he did it, it was done in anger, wasn't it? Yeah. Well, if it had happened to me in the same situation, we wouldn't be talking now because I would be locked up. Yeah. And I think it is disgusting. And I think whoever that postman is, and you can see who it is, he should be sacked immediately. Yeah. People, will, people like will say, oh, you can't sack him. Why should he lose his livelihood? Well, he could have killed that little dog. Well, if he killed the dog, he'd be, that would be it. Why do people have to be so nasty to animals who, who see things from a different point of view? That the little dog would have been frightened of seeing a stranger. And he wasn't an attractive-looking bloke, was he? No. Um, and, they, you know, the other thing about postmen, by the way, why do they all have to wear shorts even in the winter? Well, I'll tell you uh, what, also, dogs have a great sense, don't they, of what kind of human you are. Yeah. Dogs love me, for example, James, because they can I see know. that at heart I'm a kind individual and somebody yeah, that they can... Uh, they can they, that. That's somebody that will look after them. This dog probably saw that this guy was nasty and maybe thought he was threatening his owner. If people actually... That's a very good point you make, because if people come to the house... Um, who don't like dogs, you can tell automatically. Yes. And uh, whatever they come about, I just show them the door. I say, I'm sorry, I'm not interested, or uh, I've run out of time, or whatever. And I, I remove them, because if they don't like dogs, I don't like them. No, exactly it's right. I mean, that it can't be, as mean, you say, it's Greater Manchester, it can't be that difficult to identify this character, <laughs> um, because apart from anything else, James, it may well be that that little dog has got some kind of internal injury as well. Well, he kicked the dog very hard because if you kick a dog and it goes, you know, way past a car and the car was parked slightly down the drive. Yes. And I don't know there was a main road behind it as well. I would like to know whether the dog came back safely or not. So I want to see that man being questioned. I want to then... And you see, when people do things like this, we hide their, their, um, 
Unless you happen to be one of the uh, Kardashians or whatever they are, those rather boring family of people who've done nothing for anybody, um, unless you happen to be one of them, you, you, you're allowed to stay out of the media. Mm. I think people like him should be humiliated. Absolutely right. I think you show that video. And um, when I'm back on uh, Talk TV on Thursday, I think I'll make a point of showing it yes. again. Well, because I'm going to show it again before we finish here, James. And I wonder whether um, by the time you take to the airwaves on Thursday evening, something may have changed. Yeah. Um, hopefully they have... Well, they probably will have charged him, so then we can't talk about it. But um, he deserves to be charged. Uh, and there are all kinds of things you could charge him for. But, of course, in this country, where our, I'm sorry, but our police force is completely... Uh, well, it, it's just useless. Just yeah. useless. Well, look, they're, too, they're too busy uh, handing out fines for people drinking beer uh, in places yeah. that apparently they shouldn't. You know, what we need, by the way, here's a bit different subject. Uh, what we need is to get rid of all the local police forces and just have one police UK. Yes, I think that's probably a good idea. I think it's time uh, we sanctioned the police and we actually reminded them what they're supposed to be doing, and that is to protect <laughs> the lives of innocent people and, indeed, dogs. Well, can I just wish the family of that dog well? It's, it's, really, it's really left me quite upset seeing that. Because when, when you guys rang up and said, will you talk to Mike about a bloke kicking a dog? And I said, yeah, yeah, OK. I didn't actually think it was going to be that horrible. Yeah. It is horrible, isn't it? Yeah. It really is. We're going to have another look at it. Listen, James, thank you very much indeed. And it's lovely to see right, you guys. stroking that dog. Uh, James Well, back, of course, right here on Talk TV on Thursday evening uh, at 10 o'clock.